our senators. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Senator Pimentel. Uh, maganda umaga po sa lahat. And uh, I also extend my condolences to Secretary Cusi, uh, who is a very good friend, a close friend, for your for your loss, sir. Uh, well, at, uh, at least uh, sa hearing na ito, Mr. Chairman, established natin na totoo pa lang may blackout uh, secretary sa Concepcion Uno, Marikina, but you attributed it to not because of the overall shortage of uh, power supply, but to maybe an incident involving the uh, distributor. Is that the finding, uh, Mr. Secretary? Uh, that is a localized, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, that was a localized uh, problem. Doon po sa linya, papunta po sa bahay ng, sa distribution po. No? So it's not a supply problem, it's not a transmission problem. Uh, it was uh, just a local problem sa conception, you know, Mr. Chairman. Yes, okay. but, but, but it happened but It happened, and it lasted for 11 hours. So, uh, para sa mga nakikinig sa atin, kunyari, you are the uh, consumer at may reklamo ka dahil uh, 11 hour power outage yun. Sa mata ng consumer, eh, 11 hour power outage yun. Wala naman siyang capacity to research sa uh, anong dahilan ng power outage. So, Saan po ang takbuhan ng consumer kung gusto nilang mag, uh, magreklamo, lalo na kung nagiging madalas-dalas ito? Sa, hindi, hindi ko pa naririnig. Sa DOE ba at tatak, ang tatakbuhan? Sa ERC ba dapat tumakbo ang ating mga consumer na apektado ng blackouts na... Ang reason a eh, subsequently revealed to be uh, malfunctioning of an equipment by a uh, distributor. Ang kwan po sa dito pagkagad yan po may problema. Alam po naman ng publiko kung sino po may franchise sa uh, sino po ang uh, nag-operate, nagdi-distribute ng electricity. Yung nagbibigay po sa kanila ng electricity and that, in that in Concepcion area is under Meralco. So ang kwan po ng tao ay yung Meralco uh, sa Meralco uh, cost, customer service po. Ganun din po. Ganun din po ang nangyari sa akin. Pag ano wala po ako ng kuryente, hindi po ako sa DOE pumupunta pero sa service provider po, ano po? Uh, 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 sa, sa Miralco po. So Miralco, immediately naman po, in fairness to Miralco, immediately address that po. Ngayon po, dito naman po, Mr. Chairman, sa DOE, we also have our customer welfare ano po, na pwede rin po pumunta dito kung hindi po sila iniintindi ng service provider po nila. And we will act on that po. Mr. Chairman. Yes, actually, uh, yan yung tanong ko eh. The ultimate, the ultimate uh, regulator which we can expect to have some disciplinary power over this uh, distribution utility would be DOE or ERC? Apaka sa, sa kwan po, sa regulatory power po ng ganyan, po, ERC po yun, no? Kaya nga po kanina, hinihingan ko nga po kanina ng kwan, ang, ang uh, Senado, na kung pwede bigyan po kami ng authority to sanction. No po? So pagkaganyan po problema, implementation po sa compliance po, ERC po, Mr. Chairman. Okay, at, at least uh, nal naliwanagan tayo that that incident really happened but not connected to uh, to a supply uh, problem. But yes, al al alam nyo kasi siyempre sa mata, ng, sa mata ng consumer, hindi naman siguro siya magre-research na kung ano bang dahilan nitong power outage ko. Uh, is this supply? Is this wala? Wala rin siyang kakayahan. Eh. So uh, we have to maintain this uh, discipline or what you call compliance at all levels. No? So at lalo na kung madalas-dalas mangyari yun, I mean, uh, I think uh, the distribution utility should, should uh, start looking at its efficiency. And uh, if it is not efficient, then the government regulator should uh, start reminding it to be to be efficient. Uh, nakita ko po yung isang uh, uh, isang proposal ni ni Secretary Kusi, Mr. Chairman, na uh, ano yun? Tayaga na ulit ang gobyerno to produce uh, power. Uh, this used to be the situation before, right? Uh, then we changed because of uh, IPIRA. Uh, we changed the, the rule. Uh, so is this now uh, an, an admission that 
Ipira is not working or is not working to our liking. Ano ba, ano ba yung ano ba yung malaking kakulangan ngayon na which which will be solved by uh, by amending the approach and allowing government or the state again to produce power? Uh, Mr. Chairman, if I may, uh, that's why we are here uh, cooperating with the Senate uh, to look for a better solution. Times are changing. I'm not saying that IPIRA is not working. It addressed the problem at the time it was created. No? And we thank the forefather of, of, of IPIRA for doing such. But times have changed. There are things that have developed na kailangan address natin. Even po ito sinasabi ko po sa lahat ng mga fora that I have attended sa uh, foreign, uh, foreign forum, local forum, sinasabi ko po, is it good for a developing country to give everything to the hands of the private sector? No po? And I, I'm debating that to myself. I mean, uh, with myself. Sabi ko, ano ba ito talaga ang dapat natin gawin? Because we need to deliver service. Ano po ang ko natin? Ngayon po, tingnan po ninyo ang buong mundo. And we are one of those very few that lahat nasa kamay po ng private sector. ASEAN, it's a combination of government and private sector. Nandyan po, no? Transmission, ang, lalo na po ang system operator, operation. We are the only country in ASEAN that has given it to private sector. In Asia, it's just Japan that is really at the hands of the private sector, but they are developed and matured country. E pero tayo po, developing country. That's why I'm submitting this. I'm not saying that this is, I'm not saying that the uh, hook, line, and sinker that you take what I'm saying, I'm saying that I'm submitting it so that in the future, why, if you're deliberating on it, we can debate on it and study what is applicable at the present time. Especially now, ito pong COVID, hindi naman ito nandun eh, nandiyan, no? Ngayon, yung pa moratorium ng disconnection, uh, moratorium and payments. Uh, so, we have to study all of this, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. You know, Apos, but, you know, we are a developing country now, and 20 years ago, definitely, we were not more than a developing country. Hindi naman siguro tayo um, um, uh, nakaangatan din bumaba. So, uh, at any rate, Mr. Chairman, we adopted the system na medyo uh, masyadong western yata, masyadong free free market uh, forces. Uh, and we took out uh, the state or the government from participating in the generation of uh, power. So we have had IPIRA for around uh, 20 years, uh, uh, Mr. Secretary. So siguro... And the objectives of the law are found are found in Chapter One, Section Two of the law. Isa isahin siguro na lang niyo po ito, Secretary, sa office niyo. If we have achieved this, and and uh, and if in, uh, and if hindi, uh, kailangan siguro nating uh, ng revision uh, of this law, or we already have to depart uh, from this law from the to Western, to liberal, to free market ideas in this law. And then uh, there, have, there have been some experts. Lagay ko na lang sa quotes yung experts kasi baka i-dispute ninyo yung pagka-expert din nila who, who have, who have uh, pointed out to our neighbors, uh, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, and Vietnam, uh, which have adopted a different model in their uh, power industry. Uh, do, do you confirm this, Secretary, that our neighbors, uh, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, Vietnam, among others, have a different uh, system than ours, uh, where the government buys or produces power? Uh, there's a central purchasing agency model. Yeah. Yes, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, we are different. No, we, uh, the, uh, Every country have different uh, uh, system. No, other countries they have subsidy. They give subsidy. That's why they have a, high, uh, a lower rate. Uh, in our case, we charge twelve percent back in our uh, uh, in our electricity rate. So iba po talaga iba po. Sa kayun pong participation nila, 
uh, kung uh, kasama po ba sila sa power production, transmission, and distribution, magkaiba po talaga. That's why sabi nga natin, pag-aralan po natin ito, wala naman po masama doon. No? Na Pagdibatihan natin, let's stick to the issue that in service of the people para magkaroon po tayo ng sistema that would be really uh, working and serving the interest of the public. Salap, Mr. Chairman. Sige po, at uh, merong, marami yata kayong issues against the uh, NGCP, no? Papa Mahirap lang masundan na uh, kaagad but if uh, you have uh, position papers uh, which we can study uh, tapos yung transmission line uh, sabi niyo kami sa Mindanao we have an excess uh, power Negros uh, is it Negros Island uh, which is uh, also excess power or Negros Occidental only and yet the problem is we, we cannot share this power because of the lack of uh, transmission lines. Uh, whose obligation is that, uh, Mr. Chairman, um, yeah, Mr. Secretary, to put up these uh, transmission lines? Uh, yan po, eh, kasama sa franchise po ng uh, NGCP, Mr. Chairman. And how old has, the, uh, how, how old has the, this uh, franchise been, Mr. Chairman? The... Uh, more than uh, 10 years, uh, almost, uh, Mr. Chairman? Oh, 10, 10 years. So that, that could have been built, but siguro masya, baka naman masyadong mahal that the, they, they overlook the cost. Uh, or, or is it very clear in their franchise that they, they, they should uh, build the transmission line, uh, no matter the cost, they should look for the financing for it? Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, that is part of the program uh, for the country to grow, uh, to have a transmission uh, line and distribution line that is really serving the country's interest. Yun po ito na privatize po ito, kasama po ito sa pag-develop. No po? At yun po naman, kin ang tao po rin po, taong bayan po ang nagbabayad po noon. There is a recovery, cost recovery system kung paano po yun. At yun po naman ina-address din ng gobyerno. So binabayaran po din ang tao yan. Mr. Chairman. So yun, is, isa sigurong malaking issue ito. Ngay ngayon, kunyari, merong mga konektado na itong... So, if you connect Mindanao to the Visayas grid and then uh, the Negros Island to the Visayas grid, we will have already a nationwide uh, interconnected grid. Ano ba yung resulta nun? We will have, uh, Mr. Chairman, we will have a, a, a national, uh, uh, we will have one national grid, you know, connecting the, uh, all the islands, yes. and we can uh, be sharing the power. Uh, that's the, sir. that's the objective uh, of that, uh, uh, trans uh, uh, that uh, national so, grid. Yeah, yeah you, you knew the theory, don't know, the excess power in Mindanao can now be used by uh, all the way to Ilocos Norte. Ganon ba yon? Is that the theory? Well, the, the excess power from Mindanao can be delivered here to uh, uh, to Luzon, you know? so the entire Luzon, Luzon can, can can make use of, the, uh, of it. Kaya nga po yun, that is a uh, injustice also to the investors in Mindanao who put up those power plants, no po? Na dapat sana na, na deliver dito. So ngayon stranded yung power don. Some some of uh, some plants are not running at all because hindi nga po ma deliver walang demand. There is transmission so, congestion. Kaya nga, pero mag, ang maganda lumabas ngayon, Mr. Chairman, uh, the, the obligation to provide for the transmission line is with NGCP. And is it an obligation or is it just an option, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. Secretary? Under the uh, contract, obligado ba sila o option lang po yan? That they have the discretion to, de to, to decide. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, the transmission business is a monopoly. And uh, hindi po pwede yan, hindi po pwede yan na uh, maging optional. Po, obligation po yan, kasama po yan sa concession contract. So you're referring to both, to even that Negros uh, transmission line connecting to Negros to what po yun? Papunta saan? Uh, that is uh, Mr. Chairman connecting to Cebu and then Cebu, Cebu. to Luzon. Uh -huh. So 
Yun ang kulang. So yun, Cebu to Luzon. Wala pa rin yun. Ang Cebu to Luzon po, meron na po. Na po. Correct. Na, meron. meron na po. Kaya so, alam yung, yung uh, Mindanao, wala pa po. Oh, yung Mindanao po, saan naman magagaling yun? To connect where? Sa, ang, ang, so, sa, what part in Mindanao? What, what is specific yes. part in, in, uh, in Mindanao, Mr. Chairman? Is that the question? Yes, yes, Mr. Secretary. Kasi di ba may cost yan eh. Baka naman yung, may yung where, where you put it and how long the, the lines would be, may costing po yan. Uh, sa Dipol, uh, Dipo, Dipolog uh, City, Mr. Chairman, uh, from Mindanao to uh, Dipolog City to, uh, to Cebu, Mr. Chairman. Oh, sige, so, sige, with, with, with your advocacy for, for this, uh, Mr. Secretary, Siguro samahan niyo na rin ng information dissemination how our how our rates in Mindanao will be affected. Maaapektuhan ba uh, ang 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 rates per kilowatt hour ng consumers in Mindanao if uh, we do this uh, just for our information. Yan po uh, Mr. Chairman, ang uh, siyempre po uh, alam natin na uh, yung pa uh, po ng supply and demand factor determines the the price na po uh, but the, uh, the, having an excess na do sa Mindanao talaga po ngayon uh, at at yung presyo po sa Mindanao mababa dahil po sa August po lang yun po dahil doon po sa uh, mababang presyo ng August at is sa uh, NPC running that no and pizza and uh, ngayon po uh, kung magkakaroon po yan it is uh, may, may cost benefit po yun no pwedeng tumaas pwedeng bumaba uh, depende po sa sitwasyon Mr. Chairman yeah, yun na nga, yun na nga. Siguro lang, uh, Mr. Chairman, just uh, mag-explain din po ang uh, Department of Energy uh, information campaign uh, on, the, on, the, on the possibilities, di ba? Kasi yung pros... Hindi pa kasi konektado ngayon, eh, but when we connect, ano yung mga possible na mangyayari? So, at any rate, na, nakita ko na parang even doon sa report ni Mr. Marasigan, parang may nakita pa siya na there's a Supreme Court decision and then... Uh, it's being resisted. Yan ang ako ko impression. It's being resisted by NGCP. So, is this is NGCP has NGCP been uh, resisting a lot of the initiatives of the DOE? Is it has it become a big headache for the department? Well, uh, that has been uh, during the JCEC meeting. Sinabi ng apu natin yan, ano? And Transco at that time was ready to present. Uh, what are those problems? Ngayon po, just to, uh, you're asking, Mr. Chairman, if the question is that are they resisting? Uh, kanina po, sinabi ko, it's not a power crisis. Ang, 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 natin, ang, natin di, uh, ang, 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 ang problema po ng ating, ng, 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 sitwa, ng sitwasyon dito po. No? Ang problema po natin is compliance. Sundin po yung mga prangkisa. So, if there is compliance, kung maroon ang problema, medyo manageable. All of everything naman, lagi may, may mga may mga, may mga, mga, may mga issues po. In any situation, may issues po. And uh, what we need is uh, that we manage it well lang po, Mr. Chairman. So, I think the matter of uh, NGCP deserves another uh, focused hearing siguro, uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, para Kasi ngayon yata ang purpose natin is the the blackouts uh, which happened uh, this June. So um, nung hearing kasi nung April, uh, Mr. Secretary, I left the hearing uh, feeling confident uh, with your word, words of uh, assurance that there will not be uh, any uh, blackouts or brownouts, no? But of course, merong if yon sabi nyo, if uh, if the plants uh, uh, are healthy uh, function as usual. Kaya nga tinan, sabi ko nga rin yun, are, are you checking on the plants? And sabi niyo naman, you're regularly checking on the plants. So, part na ng, part na ng report ninyo yun on, on the physical uh, status readiness of the plants because you have been checking them. So, siguro ulitin ko na lang, uh, itong latest prediction natin that pero naging short na medyo short na yung prediction no for the coming week i think if, if i heard correctly the the presenter for the coming week there is no uh, red alert siguro because the plants are in good running condition 
Oh, when we say the plants are in good running condition, are these just the reports of the owners and operators of the plants? Or do we really uh, have people, knowledgeable people who conduct ocular inspections of these plants and then are convinced that they are in good running condition and report to the DOE that they are in good running condition? So, uh, sa maikling salita, yung conclusion by it na yun that they are in good running condition Finid lang sa atin o talagang yun din ang conclusion ninyo from your own uh, experts, from your own people? Uh, Mr. Chairman, with your permission, I'd like to uh, ask the Bureau that uh, is um, you know, uh, uh, addressing that matter. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Uh, for breakdowns and confirmation of recovery of all the facilities, um, travel limitation prevents us from actual inspection, but at the moment we are conducting tabletop audit and assessment. So we're doing this in uh, as necessary. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So we apply natin, for example, nung April 27 hearing natin, uh, tabletop din yun, uh, yung, yung, ano ninyo, yung assurance nyo that the plants are in good running condition, tabletop. Siguro, ha? I'm assuming tabletop din siguro yan because pandemic din naman. And then, uh, what caused the uh, blackouts last uh, May 31, June 1, June 2 were unforeseen, uh, anong tawag mo? Uh, unforeseen uh, uh, malfun malfunctioning in the, in the same power plants that we have uh, put under tabletop analysis. Tama po ba yun? Ganun ba yung nangyari? Unforeseen? Mr. Chairman, uh, ito pong uh, nangyari, sinabi na po natin kanina yon yung nangyari po noong uh, May 31, January, uh, June 1. No po. Uh, tama po yun, Mr. Chairman, na sinabi ko po na hindi tayo magkakaproblema uh, dahil based on the projection, the supply and demand, wala po tayong problema. Pero may kulatilya po, sinabi ko po na huwag lang sana magiging magkakaroon ng dalawang major power plants na babagsak forced outages no po nangyayari po yon kahit pat kotse bago tumitigil po sa may kakaproblema ngayon po sa nangyari sa kanina pinakita ko na nga po na hindi lang po dalawa ang bumagsak na planta apat na malalaking planta ang bumagsak po no po ngayon po hindi na po ito pangangatwiran ng sinasabi natin na pwede naman sana kung yung transmission line nandoon dahil mayroong plantang available na papasok kaya lang yung transmission line wala doon eh hindi na natin po gagamitin ang sinasabi kaya lang po talagang unforeseen yung nangyari doon yung boiler leaks nagkakaganon po yun no nangyayari po talaga yan. kaya nga po dito sa planta po they they have allowable outages their PSA their contract with the distribution company and the generation company may kontrata po yan may allowable outages po sila Ang sasabihin na nangyayari, magpapalit ng maintenance, may gano'n. Kaya nangyari po yun. And those were unforeseen events. And I'm sure the Gencos didn't like those things to happen also. But it happened. No? For whatever reason, that we, but we, and we are still investigating, Mr. Chairman. And we will, we will share with you our findings, Mr. Chairman. Oo nga po. Sa, 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 sa mga naintindihan ko nga po, there are planned outages and there are also unplanned or unforeseen kaya nga lahat ng assurances lahat ng assurances will be subject to all of these uh, unforeseen or un unplanned outages uh, un unfortunately nga our tabletop analysis uh, your, your 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 papers there at the DOE at the tabletop analysis put these plants in under the call of good running condition mga ganun nga so maybe when when uh, when conditions will allow uh, people to move out and move around, uh, there can really be some technicians, uh, knowledgeable technicians, who, who conduct ocular inspections so that the conclusion that the plant is in good running condition is not fed by the plant, by the owner of the plant or the operator of the plant, but is a conclusion of the regulator. Uh, is, is that uh, part of the plan or is, is that possible or... Even before the pandemic, we never did this, uh, Secretary, that we just relied on 
uh, the uh, assessment of the operator or owner of the plant that the plant is in good running condition and then uh, bulagaan na lang magugulat na lang tayo kasi kung 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 magkaroon nga ng breakdown ng plant na hindi niya prinidik the plant can always say it's an unplanned unforeseen breakdown eh ganun na nga yun eh kasi hindi niya hindi niya report uh, beforehand that ma- I- I'm 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 go- I'm not going to produce power at this uh, certain uh, date and time. So what is the plan, Secretary? Uh, or uh, what, ha- what has been the practice before, co- before COVID? Uh, tabletop din ba tayo? Uh, Mr. Chairman, um, yan po pong pangyayari. Talaga po may mga nangyayari na hindi natin mapipredict. Ano po? How it happened, when it happened and uh, bakit nang why it, uh, hindi po natin hindi po natin talaga may good. these are there are things that have been unforeseen uh, that are unforeseen no kahit na how diligent we study never mind this gen cost these power plants are not being maintained by the by DOE these are maintained by qualified people by the owners sila po yun, no and we rely on their technicals now this gen cost i'm sure they want their plants running so lahat po yan, they are in place. It can be table, it can be actual. That's why part of our uh, part of our proposal is that you give us authority. You give authority to the OE to sanction. No? Pupunta kami doon. We demand. Ngayon nga lang po, ito mag-audit lang po ng, uh, ng uh, transmission facilities. Hindi kami maka-audit dahil wala po kaming, uh, wala kaming uh, uh, power. So yan, yan po. No? So no matter. Kahit na po sabihin natin na ganyan, wala kang authority. Pero ang meron po tayong system, may redundancy po tayo. No? That's why we have the ancillary reserves. No po? Katulad din po yan, kahit na bagong gulong, ano, kabit sa kotse, bago yan, gabiyahe ka, natamaan ng pako, those are unforeseen. But yun, you have to have a reserve. Ang nangyari po rito sa atin, kanina po na mention na natin, wala po tayong ancillary reserve. So nandun na po yun sa sistema. Kaya sinasabi ko po rito ngayon, this is not a power crisis. This is a compliance issue. Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, last few questions alam, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm sorry for this. Pero ancillary reserve, uh, kanino naman obligasyon po yan, Mr. Secretary, to provide that? Unfortunately, again, this is at the hands of the private sector, NGCP, Mr. Chairman. So back, back to NGCP na naman tayo, Mr. Chairman. So... Uh, siguro nga, kailangan natin ng uh, separate hearing for this kung, kung napakalaki pala ng papel ng NGCP sa problema ng even itong uh, outages, recent outages. At nasa likod, ang, ang, ang nasa harap ng taong bayan, ang, 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 ang mukha kasi ng, ng uh, energy, may responsibility for all. Uh, ito, impression lang ito, as sabi ko, Mr. Secretary, ha? Uh, impression ng taong bayan is the Department of Energy but that uh, the system behind it is too complicated that there is this uh, big player in NGCP which is giving apparently giving our Department of Energy uh, a lot of uh, a lot of headaches so so pero uh, ito na lang uh, final point uh, Mr. Chairman Mr. Secretary uh, ang impression ko so apat na plants ang nag uh, offline noong May 31 to June 2 kaya tayo nagkaroon ng power outage. Uh, ang ibig bang sabihin nito e eh, manipis yung ating manipis lang din yung ating uh, oversupply na in such a way na when four plants or even less than four plants siguro go offline ano ka agad uh, below our ano na the the, the produced uh, the produced energy is below the actually demanded energy uh, um, yeah, mr chairman uh, kanina nga po pinakita natin na yung cost nung uh, may 31 at june 1 uh, one major is the uh, forced outages uh, that up at 2000 megawatts ang nawala sa sistema but that is Further complicated by the rating of some plants na po, na nagkaroon po ng derating yung nawala po sa sistema, 4,000 megawatts. So total po ng 6,000 megawatts na wala. 
Yun na rin po sinasabi ko kanina na iniimbestigahan natin po yun. No po? Meron bang uh, ayaw natin gamitin ang words na sabutahe? Meron po bang uh, ano, po, ano po ba yung ating ano po, ano po yan? No? So, and we, we don't like to preempt uh, or prejudge uh, the result of the investigation. So, I will again share that uh, whatever result ng lalabas po sa investigasyon, uh, Mr. Chairman. So, uh, 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 ganun po nangyari. Salamat po. Uh, using, using, using your uh, words or your opinion, Mr. Secretary, so yung, yung amount of power na nag-offline during that period of time ay ano, malaki? Napakalaki? Malaki po, Mr. Chairman. Uh, sinasabi ko nga po, 6,000 yan po. O, nasa, nandyan po ngayon sa screen ang mga na-derate. Yung pong kunyari capacity, derate po. Mga nga, Kunyari po, 150 ang capacity niya, tumakbo lang siya, 100. No po? And uh, that is very complicated. Tama po yung sinasabi ninyo na kailangan magkaroon po ng another hearing for this problem because we have a, uh, we have a electricity market ano po? where we trade electricity. The price can go up and go down. So, pag nag-derate at nagkaroon ng supply reduction, pwede pong tumaas. No po? Uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, and other factors to be considered, uh, Mr. Chairman. So makikita po ninyo na total hours na nawala, ang yellow alerts, there were four times, four hours, uh, in May 31, in June 1, and then June 2, 3. Tapos ta sa nag, nag red alert po, yun, nagtaas po, uh, up to 13 in June 2. Pero hindi naman po tayo nagka-brown out nung June 2, Mr. Chairman. So thank you, thank you, Secretary. Uh, Mr. Chairman, hanggang dito na po muna ako. Uh, mag-aaral muna tayo ulit kasi napaka-komplikado nitong subject matter na pinag-uusapan natin. Thank you, uh, Chairman Gatchelian. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Pimenta. Mr. Chair? Yes, Senator uh, Binay. Uh, just a few questions, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Um, Secretary, kung si Taus Pusong pakikiramay po, um, just, just a few questions po. Um, uh, uh, nabanggit po nyo na the, the, um, May mga unforeseen uh, cases na kung saan pwede mag-brown out. Can you, can you give us a percentage, yung probability po na uh, in, the, in the next Hello coming po. weeks, kung ano yung probability so, na pwede uh -oh. mag-brown out? Uh, opo, opo, opo. Kadarating lang po. Uh, hindi ko pa siya nagsacheck, Kuya. Uh, Mr. Chairman? Ah, okay. Salamat uh, Medyo makapadagyan yung probability, no? probability po. Ng, uh, but if I have to base it on what uh, the records uh, shows, no po, uh, napakapan po na magkaroon po, ng, uh, napakababa po ng porsyento na magkakaroon po no? based on the supply scenario, uh, based on the number of plants that are running. No po. But again, I would like to qualify that. I'm not the one operating the plants. I'm not, DOE is not the one that is in control of all of these things. And we are looking at the records of the players. And based on the players, kung, kung sabi mo nga po, kung, kung pupusta tayo, pupusta po tayo na malamang na wala. Ano po? Based on records po. So, uh, probability will be very low, Mr. Chairman. Okay, thank you. And, um, Secretary, nabanggit niyo ha, na... Um, meron namang parang allowable percentage when it comes to the outages. Base ho din sa listahan nyo, meron na bang nag-exceed dun sa allowable outages nila? May, uh, sa, uh, base po dan, meron, uh, meron na po. No, po. Ito po nga po ang sinasabi natin po, uh, Mr. Chairman. Since I came to the DOE, first thing that I did was to ask for the review of the PSA. Po, yung po ba mga bilateral contracts. And you will see that the bilateral contracts differ. Iba't iba po yun. No po? Iba't iba po yung mga condition ng bilateral contracts. At tinatanong ko nga rin po rito is that, of course, pagka the DU company would like an assurance that their contract will be served by a GENCO. And what happens if, you know, if a GENCO will not be able to supply if they go beyond the allowable outages, what are the you know what are the what are the penalties? What are the rewards for doing better? So tinitingnan tinitingnan po natin yon. No? But unfortunately, unfortunately nga po, ang DOE doesn't have that authority 
At ako po lagi nauuntog sa blank wall ng pag uh, pag, uh, pag, uh, pag, uh, pag uh, review niyan. I remember that uh, 20 2016, late 2016, I was reviewing that with the, uh, uh, with the, the, the industry 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 players. So iba 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 po ang hindi ko po masasagot kung ano po kung ano kanya because yung kontrata po ng PSA na hindi po namin na nahawakan. So, Secretary, who has the authority if wala si uh, PSA? Authority to sanction, Mr. Um, Chairman. So, wala ho tayong uh, government agency na may authority to san sanction? Or is it with the ERC? No, ngayon po, ang ERC po, mayroong siyang lang authority. Ito po. But ang uh, DOE po has no authority to sanction. We establish policies and you can see that all policies are in place uh, that uh, uh, it's there may mga uh, may mga programa ta kaya sinasabi po namin dito this is not a power crisis issue this is a compliance issue and, and secretary you yung DOE who by hindi pwedeng magrecommend sa ERC for sanctions well the mr chairman uh, that I, I believe that ERC has been doing their investigations, no? And uh, they, uh, ang kompo is that in ERC is an independent body that uh, run by commissioners and the. Yes, but the uh, DOE as the complainant, hindi ho ba pwede yon? Is that not a remedy? Uh, nag, may mga issue po kami pinapadala sa kanila for them to uh, to investigate, to po, to look into. Yun po ang aming ginagawa. Okay. Siguro, Secretary, can you just submit sa committee yung mga uh, finorward nyo sa ERC that uh, ni-recommend nyo to investigate? We can do that, Mr. Chairman. Okay. And then, um, actually, Secretary, I can sense nga yung frustration mo na pagdating din sa compliance na parang you're so helpless. Po, Mr. Chairman? Y yung pagdating mo sa compliance... Po. Parang ang helpless ho ng Department of Energy. Correct? Ay, tama, tama po. And then parang at the end of the day, kayo naman humihingi yung... Humihingi po ka, kaya nga po tayo humihingi ng authority po. No po? Uh, humihingi po tayo ng authority. I will give you, Madam, uh, uh, Madam Senator, Mr. Chairman, an example. The Transmission Development Plan. No po? The Transmission Development Plan is being prepared by NGCP and has to be approved by DOE. Now, before tayo mag-approve naman po, we want to study that. No? We want to make sure that it is tama. No? Ngayon ang po ginawa natin, sinabi po natin is that, okay, transmission development plan must be reviewed by a group of people, including the owner, Transco. Now, Transco is the owner of the, uh, the facility. So, ang Transco po, hindi, ayaw, ng, ayaw ng NGCP isama ang Transco doon sa magbibigay ng review, ng magsasay ng approval doon sa authority na yung sa Transmission Development Plan. Hindi daw pa yun. Kaya nga po hanggang ngayon yung Transmission Development Plan, hindi pa po approve yan. So, yun, po, yun nga po ang kinupa natin. So, ang compliance, wala, o, o, wala po. Another example, uh, Mr. Chairman, Madam Senator, sinabi ng Transco, yun dito po sa facility, the use of the fiber optic ng, tra ng transmission line. 2017, sinasatanong na po, early, January 2017, nagko na po tayo riyan. Para i-audit, hindi po papasukin ng Transco. Hindi pa pasukin ang Transco on authority being given by by DOE to Transco to go and audit. Hindi po pa pasukin. Ano po to? Paano po? Para po kaming authority to enforce. So, yun po, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Um but siguro, Mr. Chair that is something that maybe the committee can address. In, in another hearing. In fact, I think we will start the time of hearing when it comes to NGCP and Transco, Mr. Chair. Um, and then, Siguro Secretary, what target date you do in the investigation? Nyo? 
Na alin po? Yung kailan mo niyo matatapos itong investigation niyo? Mr. Chairman, uh, the investigation uh, when we, we requested other agencies po, uh, the Department of uh, Justice, the NBI, uh, the PC uh, the Philippine uh, Competition Commission and uh, the uh, ERC, you know, investigate investigating those things po. So I would depend on their uh, uh, on their action on our request, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, uh, Senator uh, Binay. Uh, Chairman Agnes was uh, raising her hands uh, earlier. Chairman Agnes. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes, Your Honors. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Well, actually, uh, medyo nalampasan na ho ng malayo. Uh, on the matter of uh, where do the uh, consumers go for their complaint in cases of brownout, uh, it's really, they should really go initially to their service provider or the distribution utility that has franchise over their, uh, uh, over their area because uh, the, the entire manpower to respond to such emergencies are, you, are normally set up in that area. And in case uh, the consumers are not, uh, well, are not satisfied with the action of the distribution utility, they can go to ERC. We made it very easy for the consumers to complain. They just have to go to our, to ERC's uh, Facebook. So that's one. Uh, and then uh, I, I, I must just raise this. Chair. Chair. Uh, yes, yes. I Chair, siguro yes, pa mag-move si Chairman Agnes sa next point niya. Ano mo ba yung makukuhang remedy ng consumers if they complain? Uh, like, okay. meron mo ba monetary uh, equivalent yan? Or may may refund ba dun sa electric bill nila? Ay, yun yung mga ganon, yung mga uh, overbilling, nag-order uh, nag, uh, kami ng refund. Uh, in case after uh, conferring with the distribution utility, because we bring them together, uh, we, we bring together the distribution utility and the consumer, but only on the specific matter of billing. But as to damages, uh, that will be, that is not within the jurisdiction of ERC, but they are bet better addressed by the courts. So wala po yung damages kunya re oh, nasira yung mga tinda mo yung mga... so, di ba you said oh, kunya di ba pag nagfluctuate yung kuryente nasisira oh, ho yung mga appliances wala hong ganon wala hong ganon we can, we are not authorized to do that so And at the moment oh, walang quick remedy for consumers dun sa mga ganong danyos na nangyayari sa household nila well, in so far, as is concerned, hindi po kami binigyan ng batas regarding that. Okay. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Chair Agnes. Okay. Chair Agnes, you may continue. Okay. Um, anyway, it, uh, earlier it was touched whether uh, uh, we can uh, have, uh, we can allow the government to put up uh, uh, generation uh, companies in our observation, what the IPRA requires is the privatization of NPC's generation assets. But we cannot find an express provision that uh, prohibits the government to engage in generation. Uh, I think that's the point that uh, uh, Secretary Pussy would like us to go. And uh, in fact, uh, PNOC has generation projects in cooperation with the uh, NIA. And uh, another example is the Rizal Hydropower Project in Pampanga uh, River System. And this is also by PNOC. Uh, this is their RE project. Uh, the Maybe the decision that will have to be done by the executive, by the na national government is whether uh, or not the government will still fund the construction of generation facilities. But as to the express prohibition, uh, it is the observation of ERC that uh, there is no such prohibition. 
So those are the main. And then, uh, well, I have other points, uh, your honors, uh, like uh, uh, on the outages, uh, we have uh, issued uh, several notice, notices to explain. We have, in fact, uh, issued uh, to 35 uh, units, and but we have uh, that's addressed to 17 uh, companies, Your Honor. 32 have uh, already submitted their explanation, but in going and reviewing the uh, in going uh, reviewing the the plans, Your Honor, we have uh, come up with certain observations. Let us share. Can we have? Uh, I'll just ask my staff to share screen on the, uh, for example, your honor, it, we have observed that most plants in, in Luzon are 16 years and older. We have a pie chart for this so that uh, the range of zero to five, uh, zero to five uh, years old uh, we, is 17.69% uh, share. And uh, the six to ten years is nine point two five to seven. The eleven to fifteen years, uh, your honor, is two point forty three. The sixteen to twenty years is twenty nine or thirty percent of the existing plants. And then the twenty one to twenty five years is twenty four percent. So what is notable, your honor, is that seventy percent of Luzon plants are sixteen years. At and older. Uh, and uh, however, we also noted that at least four relatively new plants uh, with relatively large capacity are on outage. So we have the GN Power Mariveles, the SLPGC, the SLTEC, and the Avion. So uh, the new plants uh, on forced outage are subject to verification of the applicability of what is being called the schematic bathtub curve, because in uh, in ordinary language is uh, in the early life of a product adhering to the bathtub bathtub curve, the failure rate is high but rapidly de decreasing as defective products are identified and discarded. So uh, this is uh, uh, to support also the. Uh, uh, report of the OE, and uh, we attribute that uh, because 70% of the power plants in Luzon are more than 16 years and older, uh, this might be uh, one of the reasons. And so this will also support the conclusion that there is a need for us to uh, encourage, motivate, and invite more investors to put up more plants to be able to address uh, these outages. The supply theoretically may not be short. However, with the contrib contributory factors like uh, pandemic, uh, maybe uh, manufacturer's defects, uh, the margin may not be, as, as, as shown, may not be good enough for us uh, to completely prevent the yellow alert or alert, red alerts. Uh, ERC has already commenced the investigation process for those plants uh, that went on outage beyond the allowable unplanned outage. Uh, we all know that uh, uh, that uh, the parameters here or the benchmarks is that, and the process uh, for the determination of the outage, uh, your honor, is that the, the system operator or NGCP together with the uh, GenCos, they agree on the period for maintenance, and they agree on the number of days, and these are submitted to uh, DOE for its final approval. That is the benchmark, uh, Your Honor, that uh, ERC actually uh, follows. So uh, from the reason submitted to us, uh, the delay in the maintenance activities are related to COVID uh, situation, like uh, 
the delay in the uh, arrival of their uh, of uh, the uh, manpower or their consultants and the delay in the uh, spare parts uh, which uh, your honor we already manifested during the jc uh, ec meeting but uh, your honor we would like also to inform this body that prc in its uh, investigation will not just take all the allegations, hook, line, and sinker, but now we are requiring those gen calls uh, that are that went on outage to uh, substantiate, uh, substantiate their uh, their uh, allegations. So uh, at this point, uh, we really while. Uh, the OE has stated uh, in other hearings that the GOMP uh, has not been approved because there was a delay in the submission by NGCP. We have not stopped uh, pursuing the investigation and uh, requiring the gen boss to make an explanation because now we are using the uh, planned outage uh, that was agreed upon between the SO and the gen boss. So um, that's what uh, uh, ERC is doing right now. The other point that was raised uh, by Senator Binay, whether uh, DOE uh, has recommended or has uh, required uh, ERC to uh, act one way or another, we, agree, we uh, confirm, Your Honor, that DOE has... Uh, uh, recommended or submitted to us certain matters to be looked into. However, Your Honor, uh, we for us sometimes to to act, we uh, request that the OE to uh, give us uh, more details, uh, not just violation of all related lo laws. But these are matters that are uh, not major. I would say, because it's a matter really of fleshing out. Now, uh, on the uh, ancillary service, pwede pa ho, Mr. Chair? Yes, go ahead, ma Madam. Okay. Uh, on the uh, ancillary service, um, ERC is not foot dragging uh, its uh, duty and uh, obligation as regulator. However, just like any other policy, uh, we need uh, at times to clarify matters for purposes of an effective implementation. And hence, we have uh, submitted to DOE certain lists of issues that we need to settle. Uh, and uh, these issues were actually uh, uh, identified even at the level of the third uh, the TWG uh, composed of DOE and ERC employees. For example, Your Honor, uh, we have raised the issue of the applicability or inapplicability of firm contracting to block start service and reactive power support. Uh, we have uh, also uh, under the firm contracts uh, as under the, the auxiliary service your Honor, policy requires NGCP to renegotiate as necessary its existing contracts with AS providers. And this, uh, Your Honor, is included in the department circular. So since NGCP was uh, allowed by the circular to make renegotiation, we asked NGCP to uh, comply with this. However, we noted, Your Honor, that there is no timeline and that's one issue that we are asking the OE to uh, supply us with uh, something that's uh, uh, more definite, Your Honor. Of course, uh, Your Honor, we at this point in time, because of this policy, ERC is only entertaining firm AS contracts, Your Honor. Now, uh, we have also looked into possible increase in transmission rates due to conversion of all ancillary service contracts to firm contracts. And we have done uh, for a cost simulation. Uh, and that uh, 
we can uh, we can show your honor next slide please uh, that uh, we have a study uh, that uh, in firm contracts the contract contracted plants are on standby and are paid capacity fee for the entire duration of the contract regardless whether it is utilized or not so once utilized or dispatched they are paid and of course these are additional for incidental energy on the other hand the non-firm contracts the contracted plants shall only be paid uh shall only be paid uh capacity fee when the said plants are scheduled and additional payment for incidental energy once dispatched or utilized to provide the ancillary service for non firm they will only be scheduled as needed for firm if they are always scheduled even if we only need less we and for this we have to take note that the required as is determined on hourly basis so your honor these are studies and uh, that have brought about certain issues next slide please and so we came up your honor with ancillary service cost comparative simulation. Um, so uh, in this presentation, Your Honor, uh, we have uh, uh, come up with uh, a conclusion there at below, Your Honor, that if translated to pe peso per kilowatt hour, a customer consuming a 200 uh, uh, Kilowatt hour per month may experience an increase in rate ranging from 148.1 kilowatt hour to 225.1 kilowatt hour. This simulation excludes the impact of scheduled uh, ancillary service, Your Honor, on Western prices. Of course, uh, the ERC recognizes that there are policies to ensure security of supply, but as regulator, Your Honors, because our primary mandate is also to protect consumers as they are affected by rates. And therefore, it is our duty to enforce these policies while at the same time balancing its impact on the rates to the consumer. Because at the end of the day, it is ERC, which is uh, uh, made responsible by law for determining what can be passed on to the consumers, Your Honor. So, uh, we have, uh, of course, these studies, this simulation is something that uh, is uh, open to evaluation to uh, DOE as uh, our policymaking body, because uh, in our observation, uh, there are times when uh, there is uh, a disparity between a policy based on theories and a policy as viewed by the regulator on the basis of experience in cases, uh, specific cases submitted and resolved by the regulator. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, uh, Thank you. Chair, Chair De Manadera. Um, Yusek Funtavella was also raising his hands. Uh, Yusek, do you want to uh, uh, join in the uh, conversation? Um, no more, Mr. Chair. Uh, it has already been clarified by the secretary. Um, so uh, we just wanted to um, correct that impression that as far as generation is concerned, it is clearly allowing, uh, the IPRA is clearly allowing the, the government to enter into that. Um, we see that it is a gray area because there are two schools of thought on that matter. Um, PNOC and PNOCEC holds a legal opinion that they can but it is a shaky uh, legal ground. So uh, we need that clarification if there will be an amendment in the law. That's it, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, Yusek. Um, whether that, uh, uh, whether government can come back to the generation sector or not, we will discuss us la later on during the JCEC. Uh, I, I know that's in the list of uh, recommendations of the uh, good secretary as to uh, what reforms we should take in order to uh, avert uh, future brownouts. So with that, um, I think 
the uh, I think uh, all the centers have uh, raised their concerns, but I would like to pursue um, some of the items that our senators uh, opened up earlier. No, one item that uh, Senator Risa pursued is the uh, issue of potential brownouts, and I want to uh, go back to this no? because I want to get uh, not only an assurance but a triple or quadruple assurance um, from the uh, department uh, on future brownouts. And uh, I, I reviewed the transcript of the uh, hearing last week uh, in the House of Representatives, and I saw this slide. No, And uh, in this slide, from week um, 22 to 31, which is the red shaded area, uh, you can see that uh, there are days that uh, we will hit red alerts. No, Ibig sabihin, we will hit brownouts during those uh, times. Uh, and the red shade is the most critical times uh, because some of the weeks there, no, um, uh, we will experience uh, red alerts. So I would like to uh, get the again, the confirmation and the assurance of DOE and their comments on this slide, whether we will believe this slide or we should discard this slide, because this is a slide that was taken out of that uh, House of Representatives hearing. No? So Secretary Kusi or Director Mario, you may comment on, uh, on, this, um, uh, on this slide. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, uh, the presented slide, uh, I suppose, came from NGCP, and the details of those uh, prospective outages were not yet submitted to the Department of Energy. Thank you. Uh, but this was presented, Director, last time in uh, the House. So NGCP presented that. Uh, yes. And uh, we just lifted this out of the uh, hearing. So um, whether it's NGCP or it's uh, DOE, but I want to be uh, cautious on uh, approaching the next few weeks. So, and again, looking at this slide, seems to me that we will have brownouts. Uh, but you can see that uh, the red alert bar or the red bar will be breached. So I just want to get... Uh, the comments of the department whether to believe this slide or to discard this slide or throw it away in the basket what 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 should we do thank you mr chair as far as we are concerned uh, we are yet to finalize the preventive maintenance schedule of sowal and the kepco ilihan regarding its ilihan black a because those are the two critical power plants that are uh, scheduled to start their maintenance procedures this June. And we have requested them to move it out of the summer season, preferably beyond the month of June. And we have not yet received the report, neither from Kefco Ilihan on the result of their inspection, as well as the follow-up report from NGCP, whether the schedule of the preventive maintenance of Kefco Ilihan and so on have been finalized on a different date. Thank you, Mr. Chair. So, Director Mario, what you're saying is uh, there's no assurance that there will be zero brownouts in the next few weeks, especially until end of July. Is that is that correct? Without the submissions that uh, we're waiting from these generation companies and NGCP, then we cannot validate the, those reports submitted to the House of Representatives hearing. Thank you. Yeah, but Director, there's a sense of urgency. Um, and uh, I would think that you are also moving heaven and earth to get those data that you need. You know, because uh, right now, uh, we're talking about impending brownouts. And uh, if I were you, I will uh, create miracles to get those data because how do we get uh, assurance if we don't, uh, if the, the Department of Energy cannot assure us? Thank, thank you, Mr. Chair. Definitely. 
um, commission yung proseso ng pagpeg ng bagong WAC para mm -hmm. sa NGCP. I mean, Mr. Chair, bawat buwan na uh, hindi na gaganap, nagagampana ng ERC yung mandate nila tungkol dito sa pag-fix ng reasonable WAC, eh isa, pong, isa pang dagdag na buwan po yun na yung mga consumers eh kailangan magtiis sa mas mataas na power prices, Mr. Chairman. So, and you know, lastly about this WAC yes, question, yes, yes. Uh, Chair Agnes, but yes. ang tagal-tagal po, no? why is it taking so long? Yung third regulatory period na binanggit, <coughs> excuse me, ni Chair Agnes, actually natapos nung 2015. So, six-year delay na po, Mr. Chair. Oh, wala pa lang ako sa ERC noon. Uh, anyway po, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Senator Teresa, I would like to respond to all the points. Uh, first, on why the delay, kami rin po very impatient na. But in 2019, we already uh, took this up with Congress. And uh, for our budget of 2020, ERC was given budget, including for the consultancy on the WAC of NGCP. Unfortunately, uh, there was that uh, issuance from, uh, from uh, the palace uh, from the office of the president and uh, uh, the, all the uh, congressional initiatives were actually not released or uh, we were asked, we were actually, uh, so in other words, uh, it, it's not, it was not a regulatory capture. Maybe I'd call it budgetary capture. Na capture po yung 2020 budget natin for uh, this uh, walk. Now, uh, oh, but uh, sorry uh, to interrupt Chair Agnes, and, and I'm, I'm confident that the that the chair will also see merit in what I'm about to say. I, I don't think we're talking about budgetary capture here. Hindi po papayag ang uh, Congreso niya, ni ang Senado, especially that our Committee on Energy under the chair has been looking into these issues and issuing recommendations in various committee reports about how to correct ang isang nagmumukhang egregious na situation na doble o time seven ang wak ng grid natin kumpara sa ibang mga bansa. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, ang ibig ko sabihin lang po naman, yung 2020, nagkaroon po ng National Budget Circular number 580. Ito po ay issuance ng DBM at sinasabi lahat ng congressional initiative uh, must, uh, we must go back to the uh, Office of the Executive Secretary for permission or authorization to disperse. Yun po ang rason kung bakit hindi natin na-implement ng 2020. But in 2021, since it's already again reinstated in the budget of ERC, we are able to proceed with it. And uh, we have had uh, several uh, procurement uh, uh, activities, but there was... Uh, <clears throat> primero ho, walang takers. Sa totoo lang. Pero ngayon po at meron na, and uh, we are uh, we have been reporting uh, uh, to Senator Wynn also that uh, we can we already have the consultant. The consultant uh, will uh, be able to uh, provide us with a final report very soon. And uh, we cannot proceed. We want to proceed with the reset uh, for for uh, the ones that I know that. Uh, ERC has been too delayed, but it's only now, it's only beginning 2020 that uh, ERC was given, uh, uh, was provided with funds to hire or engage the consultants. And for that, we are very uh, thankful that uh, the Committee on Energy has uh, taken a look and understands exactly the situation. We are not remiss in the uh, <coughs> Uh, processes and in fact we have shown earlier the timelines your honor chair agnes well lahat naman tayo na nagtatrabaho sa gobyerno na na iintindihan natin uh, how we have to uh, use our resources maximally optimally para magawa yung ating mga trabaho but you know the, the whole principle of the thing of this whole hearing actually i uh, in speaking of budget, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, ang pinaka and, and understanding na 2020 was the first year of the pandemic, but kaya nga natin isinusulong ang mga ito kasi 
higit pa sa atin na nagtatrabaho sa gobyerno, yung mga kababayan natin talagang nahihirapan sa usapin ng kuryente. Both yung presyo niya, tapos ngayon, yung panunumbalik ng mga mga blackouts pa. So, that's an, that's an economic pressure on them more than on us na nagtatrabaho sa gobyerno na we really have to uh, we really have to work on uh, for them. So, para lang gawing um, uh, konkreto sa mga na, nanonood at nakikinig sa hearing na ito, Mr. Chair, tungkol dito sa WAC na to, yung Weighted Average Cost of Capital. Um, alimbawa, para sa, noong 2015, okay, hindi pa kayo chair ng ERC, Chair Agnes, pero kayo ang chair ngayon, kaya kayo po yung inaasahan namin tungkol dito. For NGCP in 2015, Mr. Chair, 16.73% of its revenues were used for OPEX, uh, 15.66%, so modest din for return of capital, pero a whopping 66.12% pure profit. So I'm sure aided in no small part by that napakataas na WAC. So um, yung, ang NGCP po ba, halimbawa, Chair Agnes, ginagamit ang revenues nila to, to upgrade the grid or purely profit-taking po ito? Kasi, yun na nga, year on year, um, May mga data na 80% of revenue is used for profit and return uh, of capital. Uh, Chair Agnes, yung ganito bang level of return? Uh, sa intended outcome po ba ito nung uh, regulation ng power industry? Fair po ba yung ganitong returns sa lahat ng power industry participants? Uh, and more importantly, fair po ba ito sa consumer, uh, Mr. Chair? Uh, hindi po tayo nag-approve ang ERC po walang uh, approval on any 66% return, Your Honor. Now, so, uh, uh, lang po. Mm -hmm. doon po sa ating, on the question as to whether or not uh, uh, NGCP is using um, their funds, uh, those are actually the subject of audit. And uh, aside from that, Your Honor, without even having to go, to go into the details, uh, we are looking at all the uh, ongoing, uh, ongo ongoing projects, although delayed by NGCP, and uh, considering that uh, there has been no collection in terms of, of rate uh, adjustment on this project. So uh, it may be uh, safe to say that uh, they're probably financing. But as I said, Your Honor, uh, let me uh, have, uh, we will have to wait for, uh, we will have to wait for uh, the results of our uh, audit. It's not something in the far future, but it's go, it's all, since it's already going, ongoing, and there's a timeline, it's not even for a year, it's uh, for six months, then we will be in a better position to answer in details uh the uh questions that uh, your honor has propounded and asked yep. salamat chair agnes last follow yes mr chair yeah well i just like to recognize senator uh, francis who's here with me uh physically to recognize his presence mr chair um thank you mr chair um just as a last follow up question po kay chair agnes and me again transco would like to be in on this kasi Silang dalawa ng ERC at Transco, I recall, Mr. Chair, ang tinanong ko tungkol sa WAC issue na ito in the hearing last year. So, Chair Agnes, sabi nyo nga, uh, hindi in the far future yung resulta ng audit nyo. Sorry Opa. po, ma'am. Yun din ang sinabi nyo last year. And I seem to remember, sinabi nyo rin, you would get back to us in the committee and in, in the Senate on the yung, yung recommendations ng ERC tungkol sa WAC also at the end of last year. So, sige, kung at the end of... Um, this year, uh, I I guess this time I will really appeal to the chair to hold ERC uh, to this uh, time timeline. And um, based on the the ongoing audit, uh, Chair Agnes, which has been going on for a few years now, meron po ba kayong na can you can you give the committee an educated guess kung ano sa tingin nyo ang uh, uh, reasonable whack? Para sa isang uh, grid operator, which has already enjoyed uh, a WAC double, sa at least double or oh, at seven times more than other countries um, 
in the region. Ano ano po yung reasonable walk para sa NGCP Chair mm-hmm. Agnes, Mr. Chair? Baka po naman hindi fair na magbigay ako ng uh, any educated guess if I don't have uh, uh, the data and uh, the uh, result of the uh, audit yet. Anyway, uh, the difference between what we're saying that in in a few months uh, or or weeks we will be able to come up with or to submit to the Senate and uh, the statement last year is last year uh, the money the funds were not approved to be spent uh, this year the uh, budget for those uh, consultancies were not just approved but uh, we have been uh, it, uh, it has been released by DBM and we have uh, done the procurement process and in fact we have awarded the contract and it's ongoing so there's a big difference your honor and the difference may, is mainly based because uh, we did not have the funds yes last year this time tapos na po at nagpapasalamat nga po kami at natuloy na ito well, salamat din, Chair Agnes. Um, uh, we'll, uh, I'm really, we're all really still waiting uh, for those um, for those results. Uh, and speaking of fairness, uh, mostly it's not fair sa mga consumers. And probably, if I will make my own educated guess, baka hindi rin fair yung ganyang wak sa ibang power industry participants na my own educated guess is they are not making profit to that level. So parang uh, an equal, baka, baka hindi level yung playing field, which is an outcome na ang ERC ang dapat nagbabantay at nag, nag-e-ensure. So but I'll leave it at that for now on the WAC question, Mr. Chair. Salamat, Chair. Uh, unless gustong mag in din ng Transco again after since last year about this WAC issue, Mr. Chair. Yeah, Mr. Chair. Yes, go ahead, issue. Attorney uh, Matiba. Yeah. Yes, uh, I, I recall that walk out. Uh, I, 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 it's true that uh, Senator, Mr. Chairman, Senator Risa, it's true that uh, hindi naman ina-approve talaga yung profit eh. But since you give a walk of 15%, the natural resort, re- result is you will get a profit of 60, 60% more. So ganun na yung nangyari dyan. So ngayon, si, 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 uh, Senator Risa was asking kung ano yung uh, tingin na reasonable na walk. Hindi ba kami po sa Transco, nag-engage kami ng mga professionals at experts and we come out with a walk of about 7%. Kasi alam nyo po kung bakit magiging reasonable yan. Kasi naman po, natural monopoly naman po ang transmission. Eh. Wala naman po kung ibang nagbibusiness ng transmission sa Pilipinas, kundi ito lang pong NGCP. So yung walk na po yan is... Uh, uh, tama po kayo na i-review. Kaya ko lang naman po nabanggit kanina yan kasi... Yun po sa issue nung reserve na hindi kinokontract. Bakit hindi kinokontract? Kasi wala naman pong kita dyan eh, ang systems operator, which, which will strengthen our position that in order to correct ito pong problema ng nangyayari sa atin paulit-ulit, nangyari na po ito noong 2019, 2013, every day, every year, meron na lang pong ganun. At yun nga po, based on the indication ng NERC, kita naman natin, 20% ang brownout, ibig sabihin in a month, pwedeng merong isa po na na blackout sa bansa natin dito sa Luzon. So yung sabihin, kaya iwala yung wak kasi wala namang kita ron. So balik ako, strengthen our position, balik natin po yung system operation sa government so that our governmental function to ensure energy security ay mangyari. And uh, ito po, tulong-tulong tayo rito. In fact, kami po, we are volunteering, so bulat po kami sa ERC, that since Transco have the technical capacity to do the, uh, things uh, related to transmission, Baka naman pwede yung i-appoint nyo kami, kami yung technical arm ninyo to do the technical audit. Kasi parehas naman tayo governmental agency. Iisa po yung direction natin eh, to provide energy security and to help po na ang tao natin eh, magkaroon ng guarantee na sila ay makakakuha ng murang kuryente. So sumunat po kami ng ganon. So just, we're just waiting for the reply. In fact, kausap din po namin yung DOE tungkol dyan. So we will be willing to share and help kung ano po yung mga data na meron kami na sa ginawa namin na kung tingin naman po, syempre at the end of the day, with ERC to decide kung tingin po nila eh, mali o hindi parehas yung naging pagtatala namin, eh di sabihin po at huwag tanggapin. Pero sa ngayon po, yun po yun. 
And since I'm already, allow me Mr. Chair to, samantalay ko na rin po, sa total na pangitay bang mga issues, during the last hearing, uh, if you recall then, Senator Risa, there's also the issue, yung expropriation ng mga lupa, na issue din po namin yan, na kinukuha yan po sa tapat ng Senate, yung SSS property dyan, kinukuha po yan, na ina-expropriate, eh, sa pangalan po ng NDCP, yan po, total, nandito rin po RC, that's one violation also of the concession. So, kaya ko po binabanggit yan, nakita na po natin yung mga violation, baka it's about time that we ask ourselves, ano ba dapat gawin natin? Siguro, maganda po yung sinabi ni Congressman Mikey during the hearing, he volunteered himself, tawagin ng NGCP, tawagin ng DOE, tawagin ng ERC, mag-usap tayo, paano ba natin ito re-resolve? Baka maraming problema. So, yun lang po siguro, ah, uh, Um, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you very much. Maraming maraming salamat po at nagkaroon po ng hearing na to. And uh, of course, I have to thank Senator Pacquiao nung nga rin siya sa floor to. Ito, napag-usapan po natin ngayon. So maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Attorney Matibag. Well, rest assured that we will have one hearing dedicated to the uh, uh, accountability and deliverables of the system operator, uh, particularly and specifically um, NGCP. Um, Secretary Kusi item, itemized a lot of uh, deliverables and NGCP should be doing. Um, uh, that it's quite a bit no, to discuss that uh, during this hearing. So we will just focus on the outage and potential outages uh, in the next few weeks. But rest assured, uh, we will pursue um, uh, the discussion on the deliverables of NGCP. So with that, uh, that's a good segue to uh, call on NGCP since we've been talking about uh, reserves and delayed transmission lines. And uh, Mr. Almeda has been raising his hands uh, earlier on. So we call on uh, Mr. Almeda uh, for his comments and response. Uh, thank you, Senator, um, for this uh, uh, opportunity to um, discuss uh, issues. And uh, of course, first and foremost, um, we, uh, after this um, hearing, we'd like to make our um, initial to-do list on how to go forward to improve um, the power outlook uh, for this year and the years to come. Um, of course, uh, to Senator Gachalian, good afternoon. To Senators, good afternoon who are here. To DOE Secretary, our condolences po. Um, and... Uh, uh, and of course, to um, Transco President, who's also here. And uh, as what he said in his statement, uh, we'll come up with a solution uh, to all the problems that we're having. <laughs> to the Senate uh, uh, Committee, and, and, and after this, I'd also want to make a uh, presentation uh, made by Mr. Raul Saludo or Attorney Perez Alavanza on other issues also. And then, um, and then we come up with a solution on how to make our to-do list in the next few days. And of course, to our ERC chairman, uh, Devanadera, good, good afternoon po and high noon. We thank the committee for this invitation and opportunity to present NGCP side on the pressing matter at hand. Early this year, NGCP already issued warnings on the possibility of yellow and red alerts due to the shortage in supply. 